Hello students, today we will study the second part of the history chapter, New Kings and Kingdoms. Those who haven't seen the first part of the chapter, I will give the link in the description. Today we will study about the Gujara Pratiharas dynasty. The dynasty is to be power from 725 CE to 1040 CE. They captured uh, parts of Guj uh, Punjab, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. Konaj in the banks of rivers was their capital. The most important rulers of this dynasty were Nagabhatta, Bhatsaraja, Nagavatta II, Mihir Bhoja, Mahindra Pala and Rajya Pala. Mihir Bhoja was the most outstanding ruler of this dynasty. The power of uh, uh, Pratiharas which in the top in this time means in the 836 to 885 CE. He was a great learner, a great warrior and a very efficient administration. He was a devotee of Lord Vishnu and he hard work to spread this uh, uh, empire around the world. The Pratiharas uh, attacked by the uh, Muhammad Ghazni's force, force in in 1019 CE and the dynasty get declined. Next we will study about the Palas dynasty. The Palas dynasty first uh, established in West Bengal. In the picture only you can see that in the Palas uh, uh, attacked first in West Bengal. They established their kingdom first in West Bengal. They were uh, they were started their kingdom in eight century CA and it is lasted for four centuries. Then you can know how it is a powerful uh, powerful dynasty. The dynasty was founded by King Gopala and his and their capital was Patliputra. And in this modern day, the uh, in this modern day the uh, Patliputra is in. Bihar. The dynasty has 17 kingdoms but the main, main, the main kings of this uh, uh, dynasty are Dharmapala and Devapala. Uh, they captured territories like uh, Assam, Bengal, Bihar and Odisha. You can see that Odisha, some parts of Chhattisgarh also captured the Pala dynasty also uh, some parts of Jharkhand and Bihar has captured because Bihar is the capital of the Pat uh, Pala dynasty where the Patliputra is uh, there. They, they were very good administration and warriors. During their time, during their time, uh, developments reached to uh, literature and learning. Vikramsila University was made by uh, Dharmapala, which is a famous center of learning. Many students from the other part of the world uh, come to uh, study in the uh, uh, study in the university it was famous around the world also it attracted students from the pil 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 uh, it attracted students from the pilgrims also uh, means who are were coming to the uh, outside for religious purposes they you uh, the uh, university has large and very big library which has many books and uh, the Bengali literature is the main, uh, uh, main literature under their patronage. Palas, uh, Palas worship Buddhism and made a number of monasteries also. At, say, at the same time, they, to, they performed tolerant towards Hinduism, all the types of Hinduism. The power of Palas get revived, uh, received a blow in the middle of 12th century. Uh, the uh, Palas dynasty were attacked by the uh, Vikram Sen, uh, Vijay Sena, the founder of the Sena dynasty. And uh, another ruler of the Sena dynasty, Laxman Sena, was attacked by 
टर्किश इन्वेडर नेम्ड बख्तियार खलजी द द फाउंडर ऑफ खलजी डायनेस्टी एंड द सेना डायनेस्टी कम टू एन एंड नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द ट्राइपोटियट स्ट्रगल ट्राइपोटियट स्ट्रगल वेर टूक बिटवीन द बिग बिग डायनेस्टीज लाइक गुजारा प्रतिहारस राष्ट्रकूटस एंड पालस नाउ वी विल स्टडी वट इज द रीजन ऑफ दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट The reasons of the conflict is that they acquire control over Kanaj because Kanaj is a hub of power on the fertile lands on the northern plains. It was an important center and trade of agriculture flourished in this area. Thus, it is a matter of proud for capturing on uh, uh, ruling on Kanaj. So they do, they do not look another and keep fighting. Uh, keep fighting so, so their uh, army were uh, uh, almost same in capacity so there was no definite victories in the tri- tripartite struggle the three dynasties were fighting so the name comes tripartite struggle the next we will study what is the result of the tripartite struggle the result of the struggle is uh, that uh, the uh, the dynasties were that were fighting they did not realize that uh, keeping fighting uh, uh, no without stopping any more they were weakening but they were continuously fighting then they we- get weaker they did not realize and get get fighting with each other uh, the, the the other di- dynasties captured the dynasties of this ter- captured the territories of this dynasty and this uh, uh, dynasties came to declining and come declining the real power of this stay of their territories come to the hands of the rajputs uh, dynasties like chandelas the chauhans the paramars and other dynasties those who we called rajputs now we will study about the little first part of the rajputs uh, rajputs are considered as the son of the rulers they were of uh, uh, they were in into two descents they were parted into two descents the sun and the moon gods uh, the chandra vamsi and the surya vamsi respectively in the northern part of india rajput plays a important role between the 9th and 12th century ce uh, they were established many independent states they were captured many independent states also there was no central controlling so the uh, so there was no uh, they, there was no that uh, come uh, come the uh, chauhans uh, paramars and other dynasties came to a single unit or an empire some of the prominent of the rajput kingdoms were the chauhans of ajmer and delhi paramars of malwa region gehwals or rathors of konaj and sisodias of mewar there was no central controlling on the of the rajput so the dynasties or the prominence of the dynasties do not come in a single unit or a a single dynasty so they are uh, different dynasties were considered if you like this video students uh, like share comment and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you students